Guess what I had to do at age 25 in order to change my own future? I had to change my mind. I had to change my thinking. I had to change my philosophy. I was messed up on what was causing my problem. And once I got that straightened out, that all the stuff I blamed, the government and taxes, and marketplace, and the economy, and things cost too much, negative relatives, cynical neighbors. Once I got rid of that and started going for where the real problem was, which was me, I'm telling you, my life exploded into change. My bank account changed immediately. My income changed immediately. My whole life took on a whole new look and color immediately. And the early results I got from making these philosophical changes tasted so good, I've never stopped the process from that day until now. And I'm telling you, with a little consideration of the refinement of your sale, by setting a better sale, refining your philosophy, your whole life can start to change from today on. You don't have to wait till tomorrow. You don't have to wait till next month. You don't have to wait till spring. You don't have to wait till 93 and start this whole process immediately. I recommend it. Now, some people do so little thinking, they don't even have their sale up. I mean, you can imagine where they're going to wind up at the end of this week, at the end of this month, at the end of this year. Now's the chance to change, process all this information. So number one is philosophy. And we dealt with all that. Where we get ideas, personal experience from other people's experiences. Philosophy, that's number one, my personal opinion. Each person's personal philosophy. Here's the definition of success and failure. Just make this note. Here's failure. A few errors in judgment repeated every day. Now you can automatically assume, Mr. Owen, I say, I can understand that. A few errors in judgment repeated every day. For six years, I'm with my father. I think I told this story the last time I was here. My father, 88 years old, he's never been ill, still hasn't retired. Not long ago, midnight, we're getting ready to go to bed. We've drilled a new well, got some extra water, got some more acres going, he's all excited. At midnight, we're getting ready to go to bed. My father's eating what he calls his midnight snack. A little bite to eat before you go to bed. Don't have to go to bed hungry. And I'm watching him eat this midnight snack. Guess what he had? An apple, a few graham crackers, and a glass of grapefruit juice. I said, no wonder my father's so healthy. My mom taught us all those good health practices. Taught me when I'm growing up, right? I'm an only child, I've never been ill. Passed the big 5-0 some time ago. My two daughters, 32, 33, never been ill. My grandkids, never been ill. I'm telling you, the legacy lingers on. As I watched my father have this midnight snack, suddenly occurred to me. I know that's part of it. An apple, what? A day, that's gotten to Dallas-Fort Worth. An apple, a day, keeps the doctor away. Good question for this intelligent audience. What if that's true? You say, well, Mr. Rohn, if that's true, that would be easy to do, then what's the problem? It's easy not to do. It's easy not to adopt it as your own personal philosophy. Or the guy messed up to say, guy says a Hershey bar a day. No, it is not Hershey bar. You gotta be smarter in philosophy than to fall for the Hershey bar a day when it's an apple a day. You gotta be smarter than that. And if you make that kind of an error in judgment every day for six years, I'm telling you, it'll accumulate into disaster. Sometimes the first year you say, well, you know, I'm so healthy now, what difference is it gonna make? You gotta be smarter than that. Just because disaster doesn't fall on us at the end of the first day doesn't mean disaster isn't coming. You gotta be so smart that you look down the road and say, will the errors in my present judgment of philosophy. What's that going to cost me in one year, six years, one month, six months? I'm telling you the money cost and the health cost and the success cost is too gigantic. If you'll look down the road a little ways and say, are there errors in my current judgment like an apple versus a Hershey bar? Is that just a good illustration of some of the rest of my errors in judgment? If it is, that's where I found myself at age 25. I started working when I was 19. I met my teacher who helped turn my life around when I was 25, that's six years. At the end of the first six years of my economic life, I've got pennies in my pocket. I've got nothing in the bank. The creditors are calling saying, hey, you told us the check was in the mail. I'm embarrassed, I'm behind on my promises. I live in America, I'm 25 year old American male. I got a nice family, every reason to do well. 
and I'm messed up. Now what's messed up? I used to think it was the community that was messed up. The country was messed up and the government was messed up. If those Democrats ever get in the White House, that'll really mess things up. If the Republicans stay in power, that'll really mess things up. The economy was messed up, interest rates are messed up. I thought all this stuff was messed up. Then I found out that's not what was messed up. I was criticizing the only thing I had to work with. What was really messed up was my own personal philosophy. My own errors in judgment in my own personal philosophy brought me in six years to pennies in my pocket, nothing in the bank, and trying to explain why I wasn't doing well living in America, 25 year old American male, got a family, every reason to do well. Now, once I understood this, here's the formula for failure, errors in judgment, being lax about developing your own personal philosophy, I'm telling you it's called accumulated disaster. It doesn't matter whether it's your health or your bank account. Guy's got an empty bank account, probably has high cholesterol. Why? Over the last six years, he never paid attention to either one. And it doesn't matter whether it's a dollar or whether it's your money or whether it's your cholesterol count. All you got to do is commit the errors. And just because disaster doesn't fall on you at the end of the first day that you don't eat an apple. You say, well, I didn't eat an apple today and tonight I'm not ill. Well, you got to be brighter than that. Someday you got to leave first grade. Reason we make those first grade desks so small so they won't fit at age 25. Now let me give you the secret to success. Formula for failure, a few errors in judgment repeated every day for one month, starts the weakness, starts the disaster process. You can imagine what happens in six years. Now here's the formula for success. A few simple disciplines practiced every day. And you've started a whole new process called a whole new life, a few simple disciplines practiced every day. And if you decide today to go for the apple instead of the Hershey bar, I'm telling you, you have begun the process of turning your life around. And if you keep up that process, not only with your health habits, but with your money habits and with your communication habits, with your sales habits and management habits and every other habit that you've got, if you'll start that process, eliminate the errors and replace it with disciplines practiced Telling you you can start this process of life change immediately. After today, you don't ever have to be the same again. Only by choice. You don't have to walk out of here the same as you walked in today. Only by choice. You can start a whole new process. And you say, well, Mr. Owen, is it that simple? Yes, it's that simple. Where else would you start? But with an apple. You don't have to start with something staggering. What if you should be walking around the block for your good health and you don't? What'll that do in six years? I'm telling you, the word is disaster. You could and you should and you don't. Here's an even stronger word. You won't. I mean, don't might mean you're careless. Won't probably means you're stubborn. And either one's called disaster. Could, should, don't. I'm telling you, that's why at the end of five years, I've Six years, I found myself with pennies in my pocket, nothing in the bank, creditors calling. Could, should, won't. Could, should, don't is called disaster. Now, how do you change all that? The next six years, I got rich. The next six years, I became a millionaire. By the time I'm 31, I'm a millionaire. How about that? You say, well, Mr. Rohn, what happened? Well, strangely enough, during that second six years of my economic life, the government was about the same. I'm telling you, taxes were about the same. My negative relatives were the same. I'm telling you, the economy was about the same and prices were about the same and everything else was about the same. Circumstances were about the same. Then how come I got rich? How come I totally changed my life? I was not the same. Somebody says, well, what did you go to work on to do all that? I started with my philosophy. I started amending my errors by doing some better thinking changing my mind, coming up with ideas that I didn't have before I met my teacher. And once that whole process started for me, I'm telling you, I changed my whole life. Within a six year period, I was never the same. And I've kept up that process all these years. One of the reasons why I'm here is to continue my craft. I don't want the day to come someday. Somebody says, you should have heard Jim Rohn 10 years ago when he was really terrific. 
Guess what I want people to say? I heard him 10 years ago, but you should hear him now. I'm telling you the man works on his craft. I'm telling you the man's done some extra reading. I'm telling you the man doesn't miss a trick. I'm telling you he's worked hard on himself. That's why he's able to deliver like he does.